How many times do you poop a day? I'm here, I'm your big sister and I'm here to give advice, people. Hey guys, welcome to my first video of the year. Oh my god, it feels so weird filming because if you can tell, like I've just been posting vlogs, like I haven't done like a sit down chit chat video in a while. I'm using natural daylight today and it's so cloudy outside, so if the lighting changes, I apologize. But yeah, I just wanted to do a little chit chat video reflecting on the past year, answering some of your questions that you guys asked me on Instagram and yeah, it's just gonna be a super chill video. So make sure to grab a cup of tea or a few snacks, healthy snacks. And yeah, let's just jump straight into the video. So I received the Fenty Skin Pre-Show Glow Instant Retexturizing Treatment um, that, come, that comes with the applicator. Um, so I've just wet this, it's my first time using it. It does come in a super tiny bottle, but I've heard that you only need like a small amount. How'd you open this shit? I've got nails and I'm like, ugh. It's so hard. <gasps> I cut it off. You always need tweezers to hand when you have acrylics on. So yeah, I've wet the, it says to wet the applicator. Put a small amount on here. Put a small amount. And just scrub for 30 to 60 seconds. Oh, it's messy. Oh, this is what I needed. I needed a good exfoliation. This smells like something. It smells like, it smells like my lamination. I don't know, it just has a chemically smell, but then I'm just like, oh, it's doing things to my skin. So I'm okay with it. I've got, I don't know if you can tell, I'm trying to keep like, I don't want it to be too bright because I want you to be able to see my skin, but like my skin is doing awful, mainly because of one, I haven't been drinking enough water, and two, I've been eating so unhealthily. Anyways, it says to go rinse my skin, so I'm gonna go rinse. Oh, so I'll definitely keep you guys up to date on whether I like uh, this treatment. It's my first time using it, so I really can't say anything. Only for the fact that, like, obviously I've been exfoliating and it feels so much smoother. Right, uh, what am I doing next? I don't even know. In this video, I just wanna, like, just do my makeup and talk to you guys but I will list everything I'm using in the info box if you want to know what I'm using so this year I really want to be on this kind of like manifesting journey me and my sister are obsessed about it and you must have heard it a lot uh, especially nowadays especially on TikTok but you know it can't do no harm in doing it so I'm gonna do it um, and like just truly believe in myself and um, and in the things I want for myself and for my life and for the people around me. So yeah, we've been really into it. And um, also like, you know, the whole goal setting thing, <sighs> it can be a, like a bummer sometimes because I looked at all the goals that I set for myself last year and I didn't meet any of them, if I'm completely honest with you guys. Um, and to be honest, I always try to tell myself like, if I have goals, like, it doesn't necessarily have to happen in that year like if i've even made a few steps closer towards it then you know that is something you guys probably can't tell or maybe you can because i don't know some people say my energy's off but 2021 has been a rough year for me like it's just been really hard like i'm telling you guys really hard both mentally and physically i i was i've been drained like and just dealing with stuff on the side that I don't necessarily want to talk about in here, but it's been, it has affected me. It's like, my weight is like out of control. My binge eating is out of control. It's just been rough. Obviously like, I'm completely aware of it, but I just want to like, you know, this year I just really want to focus on my health and my happiness. That's it really. <laughs> I just want to just be happy. I'm just going to let that dry and I'm going to put some moisturizer on. I even want to try and do a vision board. Have you guys tried doing that before? And like, did things on it really come to life and truly happen? Like, I'm really like curious about that, but I want to give it a go this year. One thing I also miss about myself is like my drive. Like literally throughout the past years, like I, I truly love my work that I do on online and even if I was working like long hours and I was so tired, I would still stay up and film videos and like film for hours. And it didn't feel like 
a work and also I would literally wake up early in the morning before going to work to film reviews and stuff and I just missed that drive that I had because I feel like that's just kind of disappeared for a bit so again like I, the one thing that I always do when I feel like this is I, like, I look at my old videos and it really does motivate me I don't know why and I don't know if that's the same for you guys like let's say like you feel like you're us losing motivation in your work and or it may be a hobby like look at your past work like look what you've done in like the past few months that things that you've achieved and it really does like motivate you one thing i have to say is that fenty thing smells really strong right guys you know that we've got this new like theme going on in our place like it's very cream white black vibe going on and having white stuff is so high maintenance like i'm not even gonna lie my sister got me a because we have literally like a cream rug <laughs> like a white ivory cream rug so my sister got me um a carpet cleaner which is so handy because we had some stains on there and it took it right off right off i'm telling you you need it in your life it's like the bissell pet one i think i'm already starting with my base i don't even know what i'm doing right now but yeah i might try and do a manifestation board <gasps> Oh my god, another thing, you probably, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have an obsession for reading, which is so unlike me. I used to hate reading so much, and reading is something that I wanted to do because I just feel like it's just feeding your mind, and it's training your mind. I feel like I'm losing brain cells as I go because I just watch shows. Not that there's anything bad with shows, but I just feel like there's better things you can do. One book that I grabbed this year, and... I did when I bought it I didn't touch it for months I bought it like early la last year it's so weird to say last year oh my god um and I didn't touch it for months and then I grabbed it as, as soon as I started going back into the office I grabbed it and that's what I was reading on the train and then I fell in love with the book and it's called A Thousand Splendid Sons um and I really genuinely feel like that book some people may like it some people may not but i feel like a lot of people d did enjoy it and um, i feel like that book just made me fall in love with reading because before like i used to just read um self-help uh, motivational books um and this was more like a novel like a fiction novel kind of book um more like story like basically storytelling and I just fell in love. It was so hard to read and within the like 50 pages, it made me like tear up and I've never experienced that with a book. Guys, like I just feel like, I thought like book reading was dying, but it is not like, there's so many like best selling books out there. I've already started my next book and um, I don't want to talk about it because genuinely like guys, someone literally spoiled a, a thousand splendid sons for me on Instagram and told me the ending. And I feel like that kind of ruined it because like I didn't have that shock kind of factor when I got to the end and it's like I was expecting it because they literally spoiled it I can't I don't know if you can like say spoiled because I feel like a lot of people went through that like so it's not really spoiling something that really happened in real life but it's like you're reading about people's story like pe what people actually went through but it's also like the way it was written another book I want to read is the Will Smith like memoir book I don't know how you guys feel about memoirs but I don't know I just really want to read that i haven't got it yet I, I just feel like i bought so many books that i need to read them. <laughs> so let me get through them even when, like i was with my um i was on my on the phone with my friend and we, i was just literally ordering so many books and then i was like wait i need to grab this and she was just like finish what you grabbed first and then move on to the next ones okay but yeah that's one thing that i really want to do this year is just like read feed my mind let me answer some of your questions when's your next youtube video coming that's the first one i know i've been like a bit absent on here it's genuinely the fact that i really needed to reset and just not do anything because the past few months has been so hectic for me like with work work training content content deadlines collaborations which i'm so blessed to have like i'm so grateful honestly guys and it's all like thanks to you lot like i, I know like it's, it, I'm, I'm complaining right now i shouldn't be complaining but like it does get a lot like especially because i have a full-time job on the side i'm at an age where i can do all of this and i need to like make the most of it and like build a stable future for myself and for me and my husband and 
to be able to support my family one day um, in the ways that I want to. Even though like I've been doing it for the past like 10 years, I've, I've started YouTube, I started YouTube in 2014, so not 10 years, but almost. <laughs> um, I just wanna, it, it does get like hard sometimes, so I just needed to, to reset. And I definitely just wanna like start filming, like I genuinely like miss it so much. So I'm gonna try and get this up today, especially because it's like a bank holiday Monday, maybe people wanna watch something. But yeah, I definitely needed a reset, even like, even my husband, he was looking at my vlogs and he was like, excuse me, it's been 13 days since you haven't filmed and I was like, I need a break. Not that he's telling me to do it, but he, you know, he, he motivates me, like he really genuinely pushes me to film and, you know, do stuff. Do you feel connected to Indian culture? What do you love the most about it? I'm not going to lie, sometimes I feel disconnected because I miss, I miss the... Um, the, the, the ceremonies, I miss the weddings. I don't go to them as much as I, as like we used to when I was like really, really, really young. I miss the prayer ceremonies that my grandma used to do, the big ones that she used to do and like she would invite literally the whole family. Sometimes I feel like me and my husband should do like an Indian wedding because I feel like doing it and I wanna do it. But yes, I'm not gonna lie, I feel disconnected sometimes and I feel like with the younger generation, the traditions and ceremonies is kind of dying out. Like I can't even speak, I can't even speak Hindi. I can't even speak Gujarati where my dad's from. But one thing that I do love about it is just the color and life to our outfits, our ceremonies, just the life that it brings. Um, yeah, I think that's one thing I love about it. And just like going all out, I just love that. There's so many questions here on here, guys, but uh, one is, do we get to see a room tour? I don't, to be completely honest, I don't think so, because one, like our room is not like, like aesthetic in any way. Like it is kind of, but it's more like, we've done it more for functionality because I need to work, I need to film videos. And that was like the best place to put everything. So like half of it is really pretty and half of it is just like messy and like all my work stuff. So I don't, and to be honest, I don't like like the idea of like a, a apartment tours, house tours, like maybe I'll change one day, but I just feel like it's exposing a lot of my personal space online. Uh, and I do, I feel like I've shared a lot in the past few years, but like, I don't mind blogging here and there, but I don't like the idea of doing a whole tour and showing everything. I don't know, like, I just don't know how I feel about it. So I don't think so. Can we, can you do more Dana Life vlogs? I love your vlogs. Thank you so much. That literally makes me so happy because sometimes I feel like my vlogs are a little bit boring, but I feel like a lot of you resonate with them and like with the simplicity of it. I don't know. Because a lot of days, a lot of the days I'm not doing like anything special. It's so nice because like from my window, like all you can see is sky and it's like really like soothing. This ColourPop F28 brush is kind of like a dupe for of the MAC 135 brush. But yeah, I will definitely be doing more vlogs, more day in the live vlogs. But there's so, only so much of my place that I can show like of my boring life sometimes. So some, I feel like I have to plan going out and doing things for it. And that's something that I do love about vlogs because it does push me to go do things. Even though like the past year has been really tough and I've been struggling internally with things, like YouTube still made me get up instead of being in bed crying. It made me get up and like film for you guys and just bring that out, like creative little me out. I don't know how to explain it. Do you plan on making outfit videos? I've kind of like held back a bit on those, but I do want to do some because I genuinely love seeing those kind of videos, especially on like TikTok and stuff. I didn't blend my jawline, what the hell's wrong with me? So yeah, I probably will do a few here and there, not too many. I don't want my content to roll, revolve solely around that because I feel like for me, it's mostly like, lifestyle and makeup where is my coat from so the one that i posted on my instagram is from i'll put a picture here is from new look and to be honest new look do bomb coats i've had a black fur coat from there and it's lasted me three years it's kind of like to its end of days now like i need to throw it away because it's got holes everywhere inside but it's lasted me since i started my work and it's been like over three years so they're so good 
like I definitely recommend new look, new look coats. Oh, what will be your reading goal this year? Um, my reading goal, I'm not gonna put like too much pressure on myself, but I wanna put like, I've given myself the number 10, so 10 books. So that's roughly one book a month. And I think that's highly doable, like, because I just, like when I get reading, like I read big chunks of it. Like I just sit there and read for so long. And my journey to work is like an hour and a half. So I give myself, I got lots of time to read. How are you finding living in your new home? We will, will we see more home life content? Um, how do I feel like, um, I just feel like there's something about having your own space and doing whatever you want with it and like, for example, we eat in the evening, we don't need to do the dishes until like next day if we wanted to, like there's no like pressure in keeping things tidy, although we do, but like let's say we're lazy one day, we don't have to um, do it. And it's just the space, the space was the biggest thing for us and it's just having your own space, having a living room because we were a lot of the times in the room because that kind of became like our little studio. Um, and now that we have like a play, different rooms that we can be in, it just gives you more freedom and space and it just feels amazing. <laughs> Guys, I don't know how to explain it, but it's such a good feeling. And will we see more home, live content? For sure, like I need to get more, like now that I've put took the Christmas tree away, like I need to get more decor. Um, but obviously I'm gonna do that slowly because I feel like we got a lot already. Um, but there's like like the curtains, I wanna change all the curtains. I wanna like get more decor. Like I'm waiting for some furniture to come in, which takes ages and forever. So yeah, I'll definitely like be vlogging here and then showing you guys some home content. What type of books do you enjoy, fiction or non-fiction? I feel like I prefer fiction. Ah! Me and my friend were looking into the definition of fiction and non-fiction because I always get confused, but I know it's fiction. It is fiction. Yeah, definitely fiction, okay? I don't want to read non-material for information. That's like reading school books. No, I'm joking. I should read non-fiction here and there. If you like non-fiction, let me know what. Are self-help motivational books uh, non-fiction? Like, I, I think they are, because you want information. Hmm. See, I'm still learning about books, especially if I want to write something one day, I need to learn these facts, okay? <laughs> I want to know what is your favourite. Do you have any basic beginner makeup tutorials? Please, my goal is to get the basics right and feel glam. Oh, I will definitely do some. I'm actually going to film one today on like this eyeshadow technique that I've been loving and it's so easy to do. Um, I do have a step-by-step uh, -step eyeshadow glam video on my channel that I did recently, which I think you should definitely check out. But I'll definitely do like different like beginner makeup videos like maybe how to like shade match and things like that what advice would you give for maintaining a strong and healthy marriage i think i think for for me like it's like doing spontaneous things like we'll just randomly buy a gift for each other or um go out like go cinema we love going to cinema like don't just keep it like the same routine like do things plans like surprise trips or one thing that i got from its studio's life is that they do a weekly date thing um we don't do weekly but we do like go out eat um go to cinema a lot i think that's one of our favorite things to do do movie nights we do a lot of those um cook with each other like do things together desi perkins said lingerie I'm just putting it out there. I literally, my heart almost came up my chest because I looked at the camera and I thought it wasn't recording, but it was. Can you give us advice on how to love your own company and being kind to yourself? How can I answer this? Like, am I kind to myself? First of all, I don't even know if I am because I'm always like complaining about my weight and like always downplaying myself. Like that's a bad habit I have. I think there's a thing, some the difference between constantly downplaying yourself and being modest. When you when you get complimented, like take it in. I'm the kind of person to be like, mm, no, like you're gorgeous. No, no, don't look at my ugly face, like kind of stuff like this. And it's so bad. So I've definitely tried changing that a lot and just accepting compliments and taking them in and being kinder to myself. I feel like a lot of it has to do with what I put into my body. Uh, so like food wise, I feel like me being kinder to myself is just feeding it good food because like we don't realize how hard our body works to like process all the junk we put in it. Um, and then I had food poisoning recently, like I, I get it really often and it, it just makes you think like how you take being healthy for granted. So that's one thing for me. 
how to love your own company like i've just always ha have been like that i do love being with my close my people like my close circle like i do love doing that but i also don't mind being on my own a lot of the times i just i've just always been like that i don't know how to explain it journaling helps me and reading has helped me just loving my own company i want one thing i also want to start is meditating so i definitely re recommend journaling meditating and uh what was the third one reading oh and another one is go for walks apparently like 20 minutes outside can help your mental health so much so yeah walking outside alone listening to a podcast would you ever collab with another youtuber i did used to do a lot of collabs um and i'm not like n i'm not not open to it i definitely want i feel like me and nevi should do one if you guys follow nevi on youtube she's on instagram as well we're really good friends i feel like we should do one because we're both on youtube but yeah it's not something i'm not open to for sure i'll probably if that's something you guys want me to do then let me know in the comments below how many times do you poop a day this is so random but like i'm the person that talks about poop so much like if you if, if my friends will know okay i talk about poop a lot it's just something that i need to talk about okay because before i used to poop once a week and to be honest it it there's no like i saw someone on youtube say like why am i not um put makeup on first of all i never work with green um so yeah uh, i saw someone on tiktok say that they poop like three times a day like after every meal and I'm like what on earth is that like I'm sure some people do and they have a very healthy gut system but that is not the case for me and before like when I was not drinking water um like at all I would go to the toilet like once a week like genuinely but now it's like every day because like I just feel like I drink so much more I drink more I eat more vegetables I eat way more fruit but I can definitely see a a, a shift in my my gut health when I eat very unhealthily like I go toilet less but when you drink oh my god does anyone get this like when they drink like drunk drink like I always drink with the family like do you get like proper diarrhea the next day I'm really curious to know anyways I really should don't care how much detail this is going into because we should talk about poop more frequently okay another struggle is going to toilet at work do you go toilet at work like let for real, for real, let me know because like, if you gotta go, you gotta go. Like, and when you work, like, when do you have time to go toilet? Honestly, and I'm not the kind of person like I go like for a minute and then I'm done. Like, I have to just sit there, be comfortable, maybe read a book or something. <laughs> but it's not good to stay too long in the toilet because that's how you get hemorrhoids. So don't stay too long in the toilet, people. Like max twenty minutes. That's it. Even that's quite long. I'm here, I'm your big sister and I'm here to give advice, people. I've done a lot of research to poop health. So I'm telling you right now. But yeah, now it's like once a day. Or maybe once every two days if I'm not even eating healthy. I wanna know how many times you go to the toilet. Like, let's be real people. Let me know in the comments below. You have amazing hair. What does your hair care routine involve? Um, so I use a lot of Olaplex. So especially Olaplex number three. I think I have number five and number eight. I use that quite often. I've been putting more almond oil in my hair. I don't use that much heat. And I wash my hair like every two, three days. Like, that's like my hair routine um and i feel like getting it trimmed often is key i never did that before but like i'm doing it now and i'm trying to grow it out because i really miss my long hair i got a lot of questions and i every time i do q and a's i get so many questions questions on how me and my husband met and we actually met in school when we were like 15 so yeah we kind of grew up together another question that i got a lot is when i'm coming to mauritius and I think I've answered this already, but like I think it's going to be when like things are kind of back to normal and there's not so many restrictions on travel. I will be coming, I'm putting it out there. I'm putting that out there. I will. What is your MBTI personality type? 16 personality test. I think my brother made me do this and I came out as like literally an introvert and an extrovert. And that's literally so true because like I kind of like adapt myself to the people I'm with. Um, but I, I've become more of an introvert, I would say, especially post the pandemic what is your go-to nugget sauce this is so random but i know i i said a long time ago that i was going to do a mcdonald's um mukbang but you know i'm trying to be healthy but my go-to nugget sauce is barbecue of course favorite mcflurry i don't eat mcflurry anymore but i used to love the um, 
toffee sunday like why do they who told them to stop the toffee sunday what do you do when you're stressed and worried about something literally start journaling meditating praying that's the things i literally do talking about it with my with the people around me that are close to me so yeah those are the few things i do it happens a lot I, sometimes i i literally have this sense of feeling of like i'm dying from the inside like it's just this horrible anxiety feeling that i get uh, when things don't go to plan or like when i'm struggling with something but honestly journaling meditating breathing exercises um have really 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 helped me and praying as well so definitely recommend those Alrighty, guys that's the end of this video my battery's like flashing over there i hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat video and i honestly really really hope that this year is a good year to us all filled with many blessings and that it's a prosperous year for us all filled with happiness and success i feel like happiness is key guys happiness be happy above all honestly yeah he's to 2022 i realized i didn't feel my eyebrows in but it's okay we're just we're just going with the flight <laughs> um so yeah i love you guys lots make sure to subscribe so you can join the family give this video a like and i will see you in my next video